I run into business owners all the time and they're what I call star business owners. They're coaches, they're speakers, they're trainers, they're consultants and they make a living off of face-to-face -face consulting and they've done really well at it. Uh, they're making good money, uh, their customers rave about them, they get very uh, good and, and sometimes rely heavily on their referrals. So what's the problem? The problem is if something happens to them, if they would like to retire, if uh, they want to take some time off, the business comes to a complete halt. It's like if they're a vital organ, like let's say the heart and the body, the heart stops beating one beat and the body remembers, you know, a little scared. Uh, you miss a couple beats and now the body's suffering. Um, the heart stops, body goes into cardiac arrest, you flatline, and uh, there's no more life. Um, so, you know, you're getting a little later in life, you've made a lot of sacrifices and you're hoping to, uh, you know, maybe slow down, you're, you're thinking of an exit plan, and what happens? You're locked into this model. Now, in the back of your mind, you might be thinking, well, I could bring in someone else, I could start training someone else. It's not a bad idea, uh, but there's a lot of logistics involved. First of all, you have to find that person, then you have to train them, then you have to cross your fingers that that person is not going to decide to go elsewhere, they're not going to have some sort of personal situation that, you know, you know, makes them jump out of that plan. And if they do jump out, it means that you've got to start all over again. And now you're back to where you started. So, you know, when you're in a situation like that, you really have to think, how do I come up with a business model that complements or extends what I'm currently doing now and make it so that I have an exit plan so that I have a business that's bigger than I am, they have a business that can live on beyond me. So that's where looking to an online solution comes in really helpful. Uh, when you're looking at online solutions, what you want to do is figure out ways to leverage yourself to make it so that those things that are that you're really good at continue to you know be a part of it but you're figuring out ways to not make it where you have to be there, you have to be there delivering, and, and you have to worry about things like, oh, you know, there's only so many hours in the day. Um, you know, if you're a speaker, there's only so many slots that you can give away. You know, if you have a full schedule, that's it. You're capped out in your income. So what are the things that you can do online that take what you know and make it available and offer a similar service and sometimes maybe even a better service than if they got you uh, directly? So uh, over the next couple weeks, I'm going to be releasing a series that's going to talk about how do you take the internet? How do you use things like courses? How do you use things like uh, group coaching? Uh, group coaching with maybe a webinar component with some sort of an office hour component. We're really going to dig into those details because if you can take what you already do really well, and by the way, one of the strengths you have is that you understand your market and your buyer and your tribe, your community of people really well. How do you take that and now offer an alternative version of what you currently do, which is where you're at your best, and make a business that, again, is a little bit less dependent on you in the beginning, but then as time goes on, relies on you less and less and less and less. So now you do have something that uh, you know extends past when you're available, uh, something that gets value without you being there, makes your business sellable, and actually puts you on a plan where you can actually retire someday and not have to basically have a zero income ongoing. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more about this.